Hi guys, welcome back to Ra's Aquaculture. In the previous video, I've actually shown you how does a protein schema work in detail. So in this video, I've also promised everybody that I'll be doing an unboxing video of our schemas that we're about to send it out. So for this video, we'll be going through what are the parts that are being sent out and what do we include when we ship a new schema to you. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those that are new to RS Aquaculture, we produce weekly content on RS systems and bioflock systems with regards to shrimp farming and also mud crab farming. So if you like our content, do like and subscribe so you'll get a weekly notification on our latest video. So back to our main content for today. So today I'll be actually going through the unboxing process of our schemas so you can actually see them as uh, we have actually covered last week our schemas are made out of acrylic so they are quite fragile so it's actually very important for us to package them properly in order to prevent for any cracking of the protein schemas and this is to ensure that you receive a good product on your site if you purchase the product so the first thing I'll actually is try to remove some of the packaging material that you see over here so it has actually all this bubble wrap along to it so remove it one by one so that you can see clearly uh, what how is the packaging like and how does the protein schema looks like when there's no packaging all right so this is the collection cup that we see on the top so there's no issue with the transportation and the base actually looks like this where we can connect the pumps and connect the air intake buff to so as you can see the schema when it's shipped is actually shipped in parts and we do not actually connect or any of the pumps and of the pipings and it's actually one whole solid piece that looks like that so the black color thing that you see at the bottom is actually the base so the base of the schema is not just to support the acrylic it is also used to distribute the air bubble along the protein schema which you see over here and the body is actually about 6 inch made out of full acrylic and I'll just show you where to connect the pump in a bit it has a, actually a coupling for quick disconnecting so that you can actually change out the pump if you need to so the pump that we are actually using is actually a needle wheel pump in which air intakes is actually before the impeller and it has a needle wheel impeller to chop up the bubbles into many pieces so that it can improve its efficiency Right, so this box actually contains a lot of the controller and power supply that the pump will be using and some of its accessory as you see over here. Right, so I'll just open them up so that you can see actually what does this include with. So what do you see actually over here are a couple of parts. The first part is actually the power supply that is actually used to power this needle wheel pump. They do not run on your standard 222 volts, actually they run DC power, so it probably is a 24 volts power supply, along with a controller that enables you to adjust the speed of the skimmer. So I've actually covered this in a previous video on how to use this controller to improve the efficiency of the protein skimmer. And here's just um, the connection that you need to connect the skimmer body on top to the schema pump right so you need a quick disconnect which is what you see over here and this is actually where the ventry is located so it actually provides the air it goes to the needle wheel pump for further breakdown right so this is what you see when i mean by a needle wheel pump it has a needle wheel impeller which is responsible for circulating air and creating air bub bubbles inside the protein schema so this is actually how it all fits into the inlet of the needle wheel pump and how do you connect it to the base of the protein schema all right so the next piece of equipment that you will actually need to assemble is actually the outlet line so this outlet line is actually about one and a half inch and is responsible for ensuring that the schema is able to deliver the water back into whichever tank that you divert it to but in the previous video we have actually also shared with everybody that you can also control the water level inside the schema to determine its efficiency by pushing more 
air bubbles out from the collection cup or actually increasing the distance and we do that by changing the outlet valve which is what you see over here so this is how the outlet valve is actually uh, comes with the packaging it has a double barrel uh, quick connect valve which you can replace anytime and in the actual operating schema it actually looks like this you can actually adjust this valve to adjust the water level inside the schema which allows you to either remove more foam out of the protein schema or less foam out of the protein schema and here's how the outlet actually connects back to a tank uh, where we are operating our protein schema the outlet line is actually about one and a half inch is what you see over here and you can actually connect it to the bottom of the schema via a coupling so that's uh, very convenient so the final part that we actually see here that is missing is actually the air intake line this line is responsible for introducing air into the venturi pump that allows it to create that air bubbles that is responsible for removing the lot solids or fine solids that are less than 30 microns right so actually you can see in the previous video uh, in the past that you have to extend this line with the additional length of pvc but now we have actually made a version that has already with the extended air intake line so the schema actually looks like this along with all its accessory meaning the pumps the outlet line and air intake line and all of its accessories so that's all for this video on the unboxing of the protein schema if you'd like to know more about the schemas to drop us an email i'll put in the email at the link section and if you like our content do like and subscribe so you can get the weekly notification on our newest content with regards to crab and shrimp farming so see you again back at rasa culture